King Island, nature's masterpiece, set in Bass Strait between Victoria and Tasmania. Famed for scenic views, exquisite food, creative art, and its friendly locals. Paul Gow, self-confessed washed up golf pro, doesn't really enjoy wine or beer, suspicious of cheese. Just as well, this tourist haven has added two world-class golf layouts, Ocean Dunes and Cape Wickham, to give Gowey reason to stretch his cultural boundaries. And just as well, he has Chris Smith, one-time rugby league star turned model and all-round pretty boy, to help educate him on the finer things of life. Join this odd couple on the ultimate mate's trip away. A fairways, fine dining and frivolity on Tour the Greens. Daybreak at Cape Wickham, an awesome Lynx course up there with the world's best on the northern tip of King Island. You'd think Paul and Chris would be salivating at the challenge. Instead, they're already thinking of lunch. King Island is renowned for its seafood. Every day, an army of prey fishermen drop their pots and return to wharves around the island with boatloads of the famous King Island prays. There you go. There you go. Good. He smells good. That he smells great. He smells so cool. <laughs> well, honey, come over here when oh. you get home. Tell you what, there's all different sizes, but they are as fresh as you can see. <laughs> Look at the size of them. Oh my goodness. They're freaking out. Look at them. Of course, the way to build an appetite for lunch is to tackle the demands of Cape Wickham. Day two of the Mates Break Challenge. Hi, right, Gowie, here we are, day two, the wonderful Cape Wickham. Now, we arrived here late last night. It was pitch black, couldn't see a thing, but look at this behind you. I've never been here before. <laughs> You're a master of the course. You know the knowledge. I was up at sunrise. Yep. I had my morning coffee on the patio overlooking this, this beautiful environment. You slept in because you might have had a couple too many last night because you're a bit nervous because you're still a shut down from day one. Because you absolutely smashed me up yesterday, so it was an emotional roller coaster that 45 minute ride up here. I went out there early this morning, you didn't see me, I was down there 18th putting away, so getting a little bit of practice in. We're going to feature some of the key holes here today that, I, that I've played. One shot lead, I don't think you can hold it, I think you'll, I think you'll falter. You don't think I'm built for the pressure? No, you're built, but you're not Rugby League Grand Finals, and you don't think I'm built for the pressure of Cape Wickham. Did they have a television back then when you were in those Grand Finals? Yeah, but it wasn't colour. All right, let's go. I used to go training on a horse and cart. <laughs> right, Gowie, here we are. First tee, you're one down. I've got to say, this is actually probably the best tee box I've ever <laughs> seen in my whole life. You have noticed, haven't you? This is outstanding. This is oh, this is the putting practice putting green. So <laughs> they've just flattened this out here as the drive off there, and they're all there's all different tees, but this is the championship tee. We're on the back back black tees. Back 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 tee, and the distance from here is it's 340 metres straight down there. Obviously, bash straight to the right. No good to the left, but it's a wide fairway. The further you get it down, the wider it gets. So just let loose, and you've got a shot lead. So the further I get, it gets wider. The further I hit it. Why? The better it goes, yeah? Yep. Will that work? No, that will work nicely. Beautiful. Have you come down yet? <laughs> I think it's still up there. <laughs> it must have caught the sea breeze. That's just delightful. <laughs> I love everything about that. I broke my the teeth. The flight, the big high draw. Geez, you've got a good Posey finish. That's a gimme and par, making it tough for Paul. Would you be a good caddy, you reckon? Oh, I'd be a great caddy, yeah. Would you? Why? Why would you be a good caddy? Because I love golf. Oh, right. And I'm passionate about winning, Paul. 
So you and I bring out the best in people. So you would like yeah. help your player along. I wouldn't tolerate you having too many drinks last night and turning up here today. <laughs> and I tucked you up and read you a story last night. <laughs> what a story that was. <laughs> your life journey. <laughs> Oh, so that puts you in a good mood going to the next hole. Doesn't it, it does, doesn't it? Would you like to finish that off, sure, like, sure. like all true professionals do? Yes. With the back of the potter left-handed? Yep. Well, I can. I'm a pro. You That's can. Cool. That's what you pros are. do. So Paul's par isn't enough, and Chris leads by two. The tenth hole here, 307, going straight back into Bass Strait. Melbourne back over this way and it all funnels down. So it's a risk reward hole, but one of the things I think is the key is to keep the ball low. As soon as you get it on the deck, it's straight downhill. You wait till you see this second shot. So just get it on the fairway, hit it low. Have it just long and straight. That is fantastic. That could be on the green. Do they? I don't know. <laughs> Put it back in my stance. Is this a stinger? Would this be a well, stinger? I can't really hit a stinger. No Tiger Woods like stingers, but they can get, it can go lower. It goes low. That is as good as you'll see. And this needs to run. I didn't even hear it come off the club face. It was that soft. Soft. Like butter. Butter. Wait, Miles didn't even hear it off the club face. Now let's see the reaction when they find where Chris's drive finished. 307 metres. No, that cannot be right. I told you. Actually, that oh. is your draw. That is oh, your draw. Oh, that is so close. That. Oh. And then if that was your first hole in one on a par four. And then your favourite hole on the golf course. <laughs> this is just a, to rub things in. This is just a Oh, that would hole. have been. Oh, my goodness. All right, the plan is just to hit it just right of your ball. 56. I've got a 60. 60, yeah. And I'm going to spin it to the left, hit your ball out of the way, and my ball's going in the hole. All right. Not quite. <gasps> not quite. Mate. Good job. Mate. Not, not quite. That's, that's just different, isn't it? Yeah. That, everything about that is just different. Yeah, but from your... But you're smashing. Average Joe Golfer, that is just... Eagle. Looking for an eagle, man. Mate. How good is this, this hole here? It's all funnels down into here. Big plateau up the side there. You can use the banks here. And that's the beauty of Kate Wickham is using the banks. Your ball would have popped off the left bank up over this bank, you can see that it would have swept around. It was actually on the way of going in the hole. Because it would have come up this yeah, way. Yeah, come this way, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. All right, you've been waiting to knock this in, so you've been I was, I was waiting for you to give it to me out to the go. I'm not giving it, you've got to finish this out. Well done, mate. Well done, well done. I don't mind being oh. smashed up by good shots like that. Oh, let's see that take. So, but that was like a pretty fit sidestep, that wasn't it? Just come and go, boom. A two and a three. A two and a three. Oh, how good is golf with stuff like that? Come on, nobody played. Back at Cape Wickham. And Paul must have worked out by now that it was a bit foolish giving a five marker a shot per hole. This is one of the most picturesque holes on the golf course. On the planet, and, on yep. the actual planet. This and they have at times here, and I've been here, where the waves are actually kicking up onto the green when you're on the green. Really? So be careful walking down here. There's a few different accesses here. There's a few different tea, tea boxes. There's one up there, there's another one a bit further forward, but I think this is the most picturesque one. This is the one you've got to play, isn't it? We've got to make the trek into here. Anything left of the pin, don't go long. Don't go left, because that's the ocean. Don't go right, because that's a big sand dune, and short <laughs> are the rocks. But other than that, it's still a good one. <laughs> well, hug on the right side. That's good. Yeah. Good. You should just think you're in a really special place when you get on a yeah, hole like this. Just, you lose yourself here quite yep. easily. That's gorgeous. It's 
the left of it. Didn't see it bounce. You know, I actually can't see it bounce no. because of the sea mist. See, yeah. Cracking hole, cracking hole. Your ball's gone through the back. I can only see one ball on here. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. oh, it's not too bad. Hmm. Far from ideal, this is it. Oh, nice. There's still meat on that, isn't there? That's not a gimme, is it? <laughs> I didn't, I thought that was my opening. You said, you said, you said. Wrong. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like, when you're gonna throw a putter, throw somebody else's putter, not your own putter. Get, get! Could get one back, thank oh, you. Oh, that's delicious. Oh. Mm. I push, four plays two there. I pick up one. Well played. Thank Beautiful you. murder. Beautiful murder. Oh, Paul really needed that putt. And Chris sinks his to stay three in front. Well, you're slowly, slowly clawing your way back. Beautiful shot into the par three. But it ain't over yet. It's not over. It's hard to concentrate with this backdrop, but a little bit of a history lesson here. That is the Cape Wickham Lighthouse. 1861 it was built. There was a lot of shipwrecks out here. They'd come from England, from your home country. Yep. And this island was the one that was right in the way. So they, there was a lot of, a lot of shipwrecks out here. Some, something like 112 shipwrecks that all sit along this coastline. So it saved lives. That was the one that saved the lives. That also saved me from sleeping last night. <laughs> flushing in my window all Just night. Just going this way. And there's another one on that side. So King Island sits in right in that, right in that spot. Yeah. There you go. History lesson for you. Coming in hot. I'm feeling it. King Island. Woo! Calm down. There's always competition and I love it. You've got a two shot lead. This is the signature hole. Now, when Darius Oliver did this hole, this actual was just here. So they just put a fairway on it, topped it off, put down the grass, put a green in there with a flag and then bang. Bang. It is absolutely gorgeous along the beach line. Now, I'm not trying to game you, but the actual beach is in play. So you can play off the beach. Can you? How far? You can. I don't want to try it, but how far? How far? Oh, I how... think you only got about 215 carry there. 215. All right, just give, commit. You go back into the clubhouse here, into the accommodation. Yeah. Still smiling. Still smiling. Unlosable position. <laughs> you're good. The big man from Manchester. Oh, you're good. You are good. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh. Jeez, it's got some oh. hang time on it. You've taken the tiger line. Oh, be good! Oh, oh. that splashed! Did I splash? I think it's on the other side of the seaweed. Oh. Can't wait to see that. Hey, there's no preferred lies down there either. That's just delightful again, isn't it? Yep. Fairways. It's all we want. Fairways and greens. You're in play, you're on the beach. You get your speedos on, you are ready to go. Have you actually even played Cape Wickham unless you've been on the sand? No. I ah, see. Actually, I want the full experience. Whoop. Oh, there, there's a walkway down there. Oh, there it is. Ah, Beach. look at that. Look at that sitting there nicely. It's actually quite nice down here. Don't quite feel like I'm dressed for this occasion, but. You see the pin? It's a bit soft. You can't tee it up. Give me a coach. How do I do it? Can't hear you. How do I hit this? With the golf club. Right, gotcha.
Hey! Can't see. It's in play. I'm back. All right, I'm going to take this on because you've just popped it back onto the fairway. You've got a two-shot lead. That pin is stuck on the right-hand side. Oh, there it Bye. goes. It's at it. It's at it. Get up. Oh, oh, that is just too good. I don't know if it's stuck on the top of the hill. That's the only thing. All right, let's get it. Yeah, you're, you're, you're coming back, though. You know, you're draining Tell long you pots what. earlier. I just added up one, two, three. This is your fourth. Yes, mate, it is. Thank you. What is it? Is it a par five, this? A four. Four? Four. Oh, no. Sit. Wow. Game on. Take your time. <laughs> Go tomorrow. Is it air of sarcasm around that comment? That's five. No. Six. Can you put that in? We don't want to be here all day. Just somehow hold it. No, cool. And seven. <laughs> Is this Kevin, huh? And eight. Oh, I was having such a good day. Like, really enjoyed myself. <laughs> That's just, there's a goalkeeper in there. Oh, OK, let's go up and we'll eat some crayfish, no. chippies, maybe a drink, and we'll go through how many shots you just I, I want a strong drink. One, I want a strong two, three, drink. Three, a very four, strong five. drink. Look at this crayfish for lunch. How good is that? Thank you. How good you. is you? How good you. is cake? Nice, mate. Have a go at that. So, it's amazing that we're sitting here eating crayfish, but I want to take you back to the 10th hole today. Probably mm. one of the best shots I've ever seen you hit. Par yeah. four, down the hill, all funnels down. We come over the hill there, Two feet away. It's less than two feet away. Ooh. Is that one of the best shots you've ever hit? It, that would have to go down as the best shot I've ever hit. Ever, ever. Not just the fact that it was a, a driver and I'm kind of inconsistent with the driver. Yeah. Just the way it felt. The way it, I, I had no idea where it was. You know? The, the suspense was kind of killing me, but when I, when I went over there, I actually still couldn't believe it was my ball. <laughs> it's quite, it quite brilliant. So what would ever happen, right, is if someone you've hold out and then someone has taken the ball out, and you never know. You never know. I think that happened today. <laughs> I think we should be celebrating the fact that I've got my first ever Holy One <laughs> on a par four, the most spectacular place on earth. Oh, this is With a PGA professional to witness it. I've sent that to every single one of my friends, <laughs> so they can't call bullsh on that now. It's there. Uh, it's, it's, it's there. Have a go at this. This was caught out there. Good. Try it. Tuck in. You love crayfish, don't you? Love it. It's your favourite thing on earth. Mmm, that's good. Come mm. here, you. It finally dawned on Paul that the train wreck eight by Chris has taken the difference back to only one shot. So after dumping some luggage back at the room, taking a moment to again check out the view, it was back to the course to take in some practice for the final crucial three holes at King Island Golf and Bowling Club the following day. Conditions were getting hazardous. Even those friendly locals were taking cover. Psst. 
so at day's end, you guessed it, time for another drink. I'm here at the King Island Brewery and I'll tell you what, it is absolutely fantastic in the middle of nowhere and I've got Corey and Sarah and they have got quite a setup and yes, I have lost Chris but I've just spotted him. What, you couldn't wait. Seriously, from the car park to this, to do this. I could get used to this. <laughs> you, you. So you just get yourself one then. And? It's, it's good, do you want a sip? It's what happens when you bring pretty people away. It's what happens. Sniff it, just. Mm. Th thanks for one. I'll be back. <laughs> All right. So Corey, what a wonderful concept. King Island Brewery, but in the middle of nowhere. Cows, fields, <laughs> beautiful nature. Why? How did you do this? Well, I guess uh, you say in the middle of nowhere, but it's also in the middle of everywhere in a way as well. So, so that's why different. we're inland a bit. And, yeah. and you were saying earlier that um, you only sell it on the island. So you've got yeah. to come here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and we, you know, that's a, I guess a bit of, bit of a nod to the locals as well, like just to, you know, yeah. yeah, have them support us and we sort of support them and yeah. If you was going to bring Gowie back <laughs> into the beer environment, which one would you serve him? What, um, what, what would it be? Like you, you've got a tempting back, he's been 23 years out of the game. Well, mm. It's funny, we do a dark ale, which is a, um, it's virtually a stout, but not quite as strong. But Hit him in the face! <laughs> yeah. In the face! 18 months you've been doing this, how long did the beard take? <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that's, it's that's been a, per, a, a permanent and a addition. That right. one, that's, well, it's part of the uniform, isn't it? The yeah. brewer's uniform. So you don't get a job here if you haven't got a beard, no, other than no. Sarah. Well, you wouldn't trust a brewer without a beard. Yeah, that's, uh, that is so true, <laughs> isn't true. it? So this is more of a cider, is it? It is, yeah, cider. Local apples, 100% yep. local apples. All yeah. right. Yeah. Everything's off on the island. Everything for this one, yeah. That's nice. Is it? Could you do that? I could do that. The range of traditional and experimental brews makes the family-owned and operated King Island Brew House a must-see attraction of the island. and the perfect place for a day's reflection. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Good start. Beautiful. Good start. Just get you right in the back. What are we going to throat. talk about now? How good your game was today. It was good, wasn't it? I'll tell you what, you, you did. Surprised? You did. I was actually quite surprised. Since last time we played. You've improved out of sight. Yeah. With no lessons. No. I've not really been playing. Right. So you've just been you just dreaming bring of the it. Best out of me. You've just been dreaming of it or something? Huh? Like dreaming of hitting good shots. Visu I'm a visualising kind of person. Another day. Visualisation is my thing. See the shot, hit the shot. Feel the shot. See the swear word, use the swear word. <laughs> you know, throw the club, see the club. Amazing how the serenity has blocked out the horror of Chris's last hole. Just one day to go on the King Island mates break, so join us next time as Paul and Chris tour the greens.